Hi, I'm Sam. I'm head of the Vegetarian Society Cookery School. I'm going to show you today a really easy and super quick way that you can make your own plant milk at home using oats. So I'm going to talk you through our ingredients as I pop them into our blender. You can use a regular food processor or I'm using a smoothie maker that works really well. Okay, so our oats, these are just regular porridge oats, whatever you have is absolutely fine. And I've soaked them in cold water for 15 minutes. You don't want to soak them too long. You were just looking to get rid of a little bit of the starch to help our oat milk be less slimy, less gloopy. And once they've been soaked, I've drained them and then I've rinsed them briefly in cold water again, just to get rid of more of that starch. So they're going to go into our smoothie maker cup. Next, I have one and a half tablespoons of melted coconut oil. So you can use any oil that you have as long as it's quite neutral in flavour. I like the flavour that the coconut oil gives it, but if you don't have that, use rapeseed oil or a plain vegetable oil. So that's going to go in with our half cup of oats. Then I have half a teaspoon of coconut sugar. You can use regular sugar, just granulated sugar, caster sugar, or you can swap it for an unrefined syrup like agave or something like that. Then I've got a small pinch of salt. So all these help just give it a rounded flavour. It's not going to be too sweet. It's not going to be salty. If you like it a bit sweeter, I just add a little bit more sugar as well. Right. OK, next. We're going to use our cold water. I've just got some filtered water here, but you don't have to as long as it's really cold. Thing to remember is that oats want to be porridge. We want them to be milk, so we need to help it along wherever we can. Using the cold water helps with that. So I've got two cups going in. I've used cup measures instead of grams and millilitres because it's more about ratio than anything else. So you can measure them with a small coffee mug or whatever you have. So that's two cups going in. Okay, so next we're going to pop this onto our smoothie maker. I'm going to give it a brief blend. We don't want to completely pulverise the oats. I'm going to go for two quick blasts of about 15 seconds each. And then our second one. There we go. And as you can see, it's already starting to look more like oat milk than just oats. OK, so next we want to get rid of all of the solids in there completely. We're going to do this in three passes. Firstly, we're just going to pass it through a fine mesh sieve, just into a bowl. This gets rid of the first lot of the really kind of thick oat grounds and the solids in there. So we can give it a little help along the way, just gently. We're not going to push it through that sieve. We're just letting the liquid drain off. So we don't want to push the starch out. We want to leave all the oats in there. You can use this oaty kind of sludginess that um, we're left with for smoothies. You can throw it in your baking. So this is going to go in my breakfast smoothie tomorrow. I'm going to give this a really quick rinse. Just getting rid of any residue in there. OK, so next I've got a little bit of muslin cloth, cheese cloth here. And that's going to go into our sieve. If you don't have any muslin cloth, you can use a clean tea towel um, or a scrap of material, cotton, whatever you have, as long as it's really clean. So we're going to give that another pass through the cloth. So each time we're getting rid of more of the solids and we're leaving the milk behind. So again, you can give this a little help. We don't really want to kind of squeeze it too hard out of the cloth. So we don't want to squeeze all the starch out of the oats. But we can give it a little help along the way. So I'm being nice and gentle with this. 
just easing the milk through the cloth and leaving all the solids behind. Okay, and for the second time, we're going to get rid of any solids that are left in that cloth. They're going to be added to my breakfast oats for tomorrow. Just a gentle scrape off of the cloth. If you don't have any cloth at all that you can use, uh, you can just continue to pass it through your fine mesh sieve. You may be left with a little bit of solid residue, but it won't affect your milk too much. Okay, so this is through here now. I'm going to pour this back through our OT cloth just for a final pass, get rid of all of those solids. I'm going to gather up the cloth and give that again a gentle squeeze through, not too tight, don't be too firm with it. So this oat milk works really well for cereal and uh, you can flavour it up you know, into chocolate milk, all of those kind of things that you would do with your plant milks. Uh, works all, all right in your hot drinks too. It will add a little bit less colour uh, than the commercially produced oat milks, but it will taste really nice and rich and creamy. Okay, so that's all in there. And then to store it, I'm just going to transfer it through into a jar. We're going to keep it refrigerated once it's done as well. So you can see that already looks really lovely and creamy. And that's ready for your cereal or for your hot drinks. However, you would usually use your oat milk. I've got one that I made yesterday just to show you that it will settle a little bit in the jar. That's absolutely fine. That's usual. So it's just your water and your oat residue separating. Give it a quick shake. And it's back to your lovely creamy oat milk. I hope you found that easy to follow. Make sure you get everything that you need ready before you start so you can move quite quickly when you get started. So one cup in and then our second cup. 